have an assistant who is helping me with this, but if you are children, disclaimer here, if you are children, this video is not for you. There might be some swear words that your parents won't want you to hear. Heck, my parents might not want to hear. So, out of respect for the parents and for the child, if you're ages 6 to 8, you're on the wrong video. And parents, you should keep your kids away from computers because you never know someone might not be a nice person. Okay. I am a big General Hospital fan. I've been watching it since I was 8 years of age. Yes, I was 8 years old when I watched All My Children and One Life to Live in General Hospital. But this is the, that was the past and this is the present. So, I felt so bad for Sasha and Brando. When they first started getting together, I had such high hopes. I wanted them to get married. I wanted them to have kids. I did not want them to have a child where they were, would end up having medical problems. And I never thought in a million years Gladys would actually be decent. Human even. Now, I was so hoping that this child would make it. That he wouldn't have had brain damage. Now, I'm going to let you guys know that my mother's son had a no brain activity at all so it's hard when you are told that your child has no activity no brain activity it's hard but what kind of quality of life would liam michael corbin had if she had kept him on that ventilator and sent him to a hospice he was slowly dying anyway now, is it wrong that a cute little baby dies while a creep, a sleazeball, a modern-day version of King Henry VIII and Mitch Lawrence combined gets to be walking around, strutting his little I won dance? No. I say no. I say, hell no. Fuck hell no. Damn it to hell no. He should be rotting in fucking prison for the rest of his damn life. He is a weed that needs to be taken out. He's choking the rest of the flowers. He is a liar, a murderer, a schemer, a manipulator, a blackmailer. He nearly killed um, Phyllis, nearly killed Nina, and I'll get to that lady in a minute. So, yeah, now getting to Nina, that witch, that biatch witch. Effing whore of a woman. Horrible woman. Fucking horrible woman. Needs to learn to back the hell off. Now, Sonny has repeatedly, and I think Sonny is giving Nina mixed signals. That's what I think. Is mean to stay away from Sonny because Carly already told. Olivia that she wants to pound her face into mincemeat. Okay, maybe she didn't say mincemeat, but I'm going to throw that in there. Mincemeat. And I'm looking at Carly like, just do it already. Handle your business. You don't like her. You don't trust her. Michael doesn't want her around. Take her outside and beat the holy hell out of her. I want to see a damn cat fight for heaven's sakes. I miss that. They've had that on One Life to Live and they did a fabulous job of it. If it's handled properly, they did a wonderful job. 
Now, I'm not saying I want Carly to kill Nina. I'm not saying that. I just want her to beat her up a little. Just knock her ass out. And quit talking about this. Just do it. Come on. Show me what you got, Carly. You used to be a badass. When you first came to Port Charles, you slept with your mom's husband and you took no crap from nobody. And now, now you have Carly being a wuss, a pansy. Come on, where's that fire that, that first came on in, in that town? Come on. Carly used to be a kind of person that you, that you don't mess with, that you don't play with. Unless you want to get burned. I mean, come on. Libby is right. You need to handle your business. And then there's um, Leo. He might have autism spectrum or something like that. They accidentally mixed up his name and called him Liam when his name is Leo. Maybe you people might be on LSD for heaven's sakes. Do you even know your characters at all? Because we do. And then there's Marshall. Marshall, Marshall, Marshall. The guy that I think had sex with Aunt Stella and cheated on her sister with her, producing Curtis. Now, personally, if that is true, then where the hell was Aunt Stella's father in all this? Where the hell was he? Hmm? Is that the guy that Marshall's trying to, to run away from? Is that him? Because if that's him, where has he been for 40 years? Or is he working in the mob? Is he working for the FBI? What's going on here? And Quiry minds want to know. I want to know. Curtis wants to know. But Stella knows something and she's hiding it. Which makes me think that she knows more than what she's saying. Now, I don't know how Gladys is going to handle losing her grandson. Her only grandson. But you know who to blame is this? Who the blame is for this? Not Peter this time. No. No, 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 no. Esme is to blame for all this. Because if Esme hadn't had her in that closet thinking that it was Trina, her baby wouldn't have had a stillbirth, a still breach, or whatever you want to call it. And their baby would be fine. Thanks to Esme, that's not the case, and their child is dead. She's to blame. Not Nina, not Peter, not Carly. Esme is to blame. You're to blame. Esme, you're to blame. And you're also lame. And you stink to high heaven. And nobody wants that stench in heaven. At least I don't think so. <sighs> and Curtis is yummy. Chocolate pudding yummy. Dip a spoon in that chocolate pudding. Okay, maybe that might, this might be the second one. It might not be so good, but I'm still using it anyway. Now, I usually make these reviews before I actually see the other people's reviews because sometimes their reviews are late. And I never know when they're going to do one. So I'm, I'm, I do my own. Give off my opinion. So other people might not think Esme is to blame. They'd be wrong. All this with everything that's going on in the whole... Brando, Sasha, Liam, uh, yeah, Liam, Mike, uh, my favorite part of this scene was, um, Sonny's father taking the baby up to heaven, 
that was that was heartbreaking as well but it was one of my favorite scenes as heartbreaking as it was and it hurt because I love babies but if you guys are gonna do a who done it a murder mystery as to who killed Peter like I said in my my other video which was too long and someone was trying to help me just do it already just <laughs> exterminate the dude now someone just do it. And Miss Wu, you didn't do a good job at all. You did a horrible job having poison it. Just, just have someone just drug him with some nerve serum, serum that kills the, the, the SOB. Or better yet, get him out of prison, take him to the Pine Barrens, and shoot them miserable son of a you-know-what. Miserable son of a cactus herder. But that's basically all. And Curtis's son, stepson, is not bad. But still not my cup of tea.